next thing is capacity. And I've got underneath each one of these three categories the initial breakdown of the new eight categories. They also expand further um, of the drive. So a traditional uh, HDD that's three and a half inches, you can see the capacity breakdowns are 500 to one terabyte. Oh, the yeah, capacities are always given in gigabytes or terabytes. And it, we know that a gigabyte is a billion bytes, a terabyte is a trillion bytes, and a terabyte is 1,000 gigabytes. Okay, just to get that clear uh, before we talk further about capacities. So you can say they break down at 500 to 1 terabyte, 1.2 to 2 terabytes, 2.5 to 3 terabytes, and then 4 terabytes and higher, and they go very high. Um, we have a couple uh, 12 terabyte drives in our surveillance systems here at National Trail. And then this smaller capacity says under 500 gigabytes, because there's not a lot of those. Uh, by comparison, both these two solid state capacities are very much broken down the same. Two terabytes and up, there's not a lot above two terabyte. Um, between one and two terabytes, between 480 gigabytes, or 500 gigabytes and a terabyte, 240 gigabytes and 480 gigabytes, 120 to 240, and then under, under 120. And you can see that the breakdown is exactly the same, pretty much exactly the same, on the category here for the M.2 drive. Now, just so you know, the M.2 drive talks differently than the, um, than the 2.5, than the 3.5 on our mother motherboards. And if we look at the connections, this connection here for the 3.5 if I was to overlay it on the connection for the 2.5, they are different sizes and they screw in different spots in our motherboards. I mean, in our uh, cases, in our computers, but the connections are exactly the same between these two. This one, completely different. You cannot plug this in where this goes. And not only do they not plug in the same, they don't talk the same. And even if you could get a cable that went between them, it wouldn't work. Anyway, back to capacity. So when we talk about capacity, we can see that on the traditional three and a half inch drive, it looks like they get bigger uh, than a solid state drive. And initially solid state drives were really small and they've gotten bigger and bigger as we go. This is kind of an overview chart of capacity. What does that mean? So when we look at a, at a, a 16 gig flash drive, it can hold 4,000 MP3 songs. We look at a 12 terabyte drive, it 3 million as a comparison. Digital pictures, 3,200 versus 2.4 million. How big do we need? We're going to talk about that in a little bit, but you can just see that the bigger we get, the more things we can store, and that's why capacity is important. So, how much capacity do we need? It depends on what you do. People ask me all the time, should I get this hard drive? Is it big enough? I don't know. I don't know what you're using it for. Windows holds about 40 gigabytes of space. And other normal programs hold about a, another 20. And I say normal as in Chrome and your antivirus and your office suite. Uh, your computers, the student computers we have at Trail, uh, use 60 gigabytes for this high school student space. This 40 gigabyte here goes down to 20 for the uh, operating system that we use in the middle school because they use the 32-bit operating system which we talked about previously as opposed to 64-bit has more drivers and sufficient sufficient to say that you can plan on 60 gig being used before you put anything else on it other than those productivity things that we need so how much how big of a hard drive do I need well we've determined that uh, all the students and, and the staff have 120 gigabyte drives because if you're just doing normal work, 60 gig extra is great. If I was going to buy a computer, I buy a laptop, uh, I wouldn't get one that small. I would look at 250 or 500 gigabytes of storage for uh, a laptop if I was going to buy it. But then when we talk about desktops, we, we, we look so much more. If you are a gamer or a movie fan, you could fill up a 500 gigabyte hard drive really quickly. I've got a seven terabyte drive filled up at home, full of music and pictures and movies. 
Um, it's an eight terabyte drive. I've got one terabyte left. You could fill up a lot depending on what kind of things you're storing. And this is an example of just some games out there, how much they use just to download and install. Infinite Warfare, 130 gigabytes just to install the program. So those are the things we need to content consider when we're talking about capacity. What are we using it for? Is this just a school laptop? 120 gig will work fine. If it's my personal laptop, maybe then I want 240 or 500. I don't see a need, need for a laptop to have above 500, uh, although you could probably get a one terabyte solid state drive reasonably enough uh, to do that. We'll look at prices here in just a second. So how much do I need depends on what you're going to store on it, what programs you're going to have. Assume that 120 is already gone for normal use, and then what, what else am I going to put on there that I might possibly need? So that's why I can't answer that question for people when they ask, because I really don't know you well enough to know the answer to that question. So let's take a look at what capacity and cost means for these different drives. Uh, these are all the same size. All three of these examples are four terabytes of storage. For $89 on a traditional hard drive, you get four terabytes. On a solid state, it costs you $449 to get four terabytes. And on the faster PCIe M.2 drive, $754 for the exact same storage on all three. Now the difference is, and we'll talk about that the speed that it can get to it, how fast. Uh, this is faster than this. Access times five to six times, up to 10 times faster depending on the drive. And then another six times faster as we go here. So you get a return on your investment. The question is, do you wanna make that big of an investment for that speed? And the answer in general is no. Um, and we'll talk about why and how we build a system so that we get that speed that we want, but not at that cost of $750. So when it comes to capacity, the different sizes can have the same capacity, but the cost of that capacity is what makes the difference between them and whether we can afford to buy a four terabyte uh, spinny drive versus a solid state versus an N.2. Those all make incremental differences in cost as we look at the different capacities of hard drives. Okay, when we get to the red slide, we know that means there's a formative assessment associated with this instructional material. So if you haven't already, it's time now to stop and go take a look at that and take that quick quiz before we move on to the next area.